What's up guys, my name is Mark. Lately, I've been using ChatGPT for my product research when I look for new products to sell on Amazon. And honestly, every time I use it, I, I try out some new things. This is probably the best way that I've used it so far and I'm gonna share it with you. I just found uh, about three, four pretty amazing products using it. And uh, if you just watch this whole video, I'll show you step by step exactly how to do that. And so I'm gonna close out in here. Now, real quick, I have the ChatGPT, uh, you know, the paid version. You don't need the paid version, you can use a free version. And honestly, it's pretty remarkable software. Um, and it just came out this year. So my recommendation is use it while you can right now. There's, I, I would guess like less than 5% of sellers use this method because it's so new. Um, people are, don't. People already don't use the main way to sell or to find products, and so to go up the ante and use it correctly here, um, I'm not really seeing it much. So I advise you to use it, play around with it. Um, but to get started, I'm going to insert a few questions on here, and the first one is, what are all the product categories on Amazon.com? Okay, um, if you didn't realize that, there's there's so many of them, and um, Really, we want to kind of treat this like a marketing funnel. We want to start very broad, very broad, and we want to slowly, slowly get more and more detailed and specific down to a certain niche. All right. So it just spin out, spit out about uh, 17. Usually there's uh, about 22. I don't know why it left some out. I think it included some of them as subcategories. And so I'm actually gonna paste them all right here. And you can use this exact same script. So what I'm gonna say is out of all the product categories that you've listed, and really you need to treat ChatGPT like a person, as in you need to have a conversation with it, all right? So, and, and really like do not be, you know, confined to thinking a certain way. Be as creative and ask it all the different kinds of like very detailed questions that you have. Now, of course, there are there is going to be you know some things on here where it might say uh, I can't get information past 2021. That's honestly okay. Uh, there's a good chance that a lot of these categories, like if it was popular back then, it's still popular right now. But that's why you have that's why you have to use Helium 10. Uh, to, to verify that and really it's it's actually a little unrealistic to think that you can only you can find products only using ChatGPT. you have to double check and quality check your sources your information that's where helium 10 any kind of product research software is going to come into play so I'm gonna say out of all the product categories listed what are the best product ad product categories to sell private label products and you know what, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna rephrase that. What are the best, what are the most, the five most profitable product categories to sell in? Generate. Okay, home and kitchen, toys and games, health and beauty, electronic accessories, baby products. Okay, these are great, these are, a lot of really good product categories, um, but I want to uh, get a little more detailed. So I'm gonna say, out of the out of all the categories listed above, please categorize them top to bottom. The top being categories that probably have that have the highest product return rate when shopping online to the lowest product return rate at the bottom. Because some of these categories, like, and it's just the nature of the beast, like some categories are just high returns, like electronics, like Apple, the most profitable company in the freaking world, they still have defective products all, all the time. It just doesn't work sometimes, you know? And like, that doesn't mean that they're a crap product, and like they're amazing, but that's just electronics, you know, it's batteries. So it's saying the highest return rate to the lowest. So clearly we want to stick to products that are here at the bottom. And you know, real quick, I'm gonna just pull out ones that I think are, are always safe. So let's pull out pet supplies, hit return. We're gonna pull out office products, hit return. And um, I like sports and outdoors. Hit return, and I like baby products. 
and we'll just pick those four. Now, what you may not realize is every one of these product categories has like, oh my gosh, 10 to third, 10 to 50 sub, sub, sub categories. So like, we're not gonna just stop there. Um, so let's go ahead and ask it a, another question. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, paste about three to four subcategories in there. What are all the subcategories? What are all the subcategory lists, uh, subcategories on amazon.com from the four categories that I have listed below, all right? This is gonna give us a little bit more options. So we're getting really close to going on Helium 10. And uh, also real quick, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, uh, brand new. And uh, you know, I'll get into Helium 10 here in a second. So in pet supplies, there's dogs, cats, fish, different kinds of animals, office products, or office electronics, office furniture and lighting, paper, you know, and uh, within each of these subcategories, there are even more subcategories. So I like this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick three with each. I'm gonna pick uh, these three. Um, I like, I don't wanna do electronics. Uh, actually, I don't want to get off the supplies right now. Okay, I like uh, toys and games for babies. And uh, let's go outdoor gear. And then I'm gonna ask chat, now that we have our subcategories, uh, let's just see what it'll spit out. What are 20 private, uh, sorry, what are 20 products from the sub category uh, subcategories below that I can can sell private labeled on Amazon.com. Dog collars, uh, self-cleaning dog brushes, elevated dog beds. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, slow feeder dog bowls, customized dog tags. Wow, so like a lot. I mean, it's crazy, right? So what we could do is, let's take out a couple that may uh, stick out to us. So I like, I'm, gonna, I'm really curious about do elevated dog beds. Um, actually reflective dog harnesses. So I'm gonna come into Black Box, Helium 10. And we're gonna go under the product tab. And actually what I wanna do, and, and real quick, if you don't have Helium 10, um, you know, you should have it. Uh, if not, I suggest just purchase it, do one month. Uh, you can use my discount code down below, but um, at the end of the day, you're just gonna have to like bite the bullet and buy the software, because it's not possible without it. But let's go into uh, let's see, pet supplies, dogs, and I'm just gonna, actually, sorry, pet supplies, and I'm just gonna select the dog category in general, as well as cats. So we have those two subcategories, and I like products that are under uh, the review count of 400, and for the price point, I'm not gonna pay attention to that, but I want the review count to be worth my time, meaning eight to 12,000. And we are going to, that's good right there. We want nice and broad, so let's hit search. Okay, super, super underestimated um, and, uh, thing to look at is sales to reviews, right? That is huge, because that really shows you know, because we're only doing a max of about 400 reviews, if the sales to reviews is super high, that means that that product is selling extremely well organically, meaning we don't have to spend a bunch of money on ads. And to be honest, I always try to launch products organically. I'd much rather actually make a 30 to 45% return rather than like five or 10 when you spend ads personally. And that's how you could do this. So on literally like, okay, what's this product? Okay. A 
two pack of dog bells. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter and I'm, gonna, I'm just curious of what products have the highest sales to review. Meaning, come on. Oh my gosh. So let's look at this one. Wow, they are absolutely slaying it. So really, this just means that they only have one review. So it's just saying like, for every one review, they get 742 sales, which is crazy. Um, the only thing is like, yeah, I don't think this is patented. If so, I don't know. But anyways, now we can start looking through products. Okay. So really on here, when I'm coming back here, I'm not so much looking at the price or the monthly sales. I am looking at the revenue um, and I'm looking also at the review count, which everything is pretty low, but let's just kind of glance through some of these and see ones that jump out. Ooh, this is golden. Silicone dog treat pouch. Okay, clearly something happened with it and it's not being able to... Okay, this is also another good one. Puzzle feeder, silicone, slow feeder. I love silicone products. They're so inexpensive to source. Cool. So right now we just found really, really good product. Puzzle feeder, silicone, slow. So really after this, I want to figure out um, what, are the, what is this product being ranked for as far as what keywords are they ranking for? I'm gonna, I could do reverse uh, ASIN lookup, look up their keywords, and really what I do is just scroll down here and click keywords, and it'll show me all the keywords they rank for. That way I have a keyword, one keyword, that I could really filter out that has high demand, low competition, and then I can launch my product around that keyword. So that's a really great, key, the great product to launch. Um, it has two reviews and it's doing $11,000 a month in sales. If they could do it, so could you, okay? Here it is, dog treat pouch. That's super, super good product. Wow. I mean, goodness, like, this has private label literally written all over it. So, so much opportunity with ChatGPT. Um, I suggest that you do the same thing, get chat and Ask it questions. Ask, uh, use the same questions that I've used. But then once you come into Blackbox, um, you know we can even come back, come back here. Where were we? We can come back here. We could, uh, you know, instead of doing dogs, we can go to outdoor gear. We didn't even touch the other ones. And honestly, like there's just no end to all the different products you could find. So hopefully that was helpful. Give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.